<clears throat> First up, uh, hi. Getting sick kind of sucks, so uh, sorry for the extremely late video. This was supposed to come out much sooner, but I'm getting out as fast as I can, uh, just in time for life ball so people know. Uh, this video, I'm just going to get straight to the point. No uh, haha funny intro dumb joke here. We're going to talk about armor stats, specifically how they work, how drops for armor works, uh, how your ghost is tied into it, and the differences in a legendary piece and an exotic piece just to cover all our bases. So let's talk about the ghost first. A lot of you already know, the ghost has a mod where you can pick your armor piece and put any stat that you want on it. So I currently have discipline, we'll get into which ones you should use, but yeah, there's one for each single stat in the game and use this to dictate how your armor rolls in the game. So real quick, I wanna go over exotic first, just cause it's a little different compared to uh, a legendary piece. So exotic, statistically, Let's take this Sarfa, for example. They work the same as a legendary piece does, right? Uh, the only difference in the base stat is that exotics can drop at a 70, rarely, and uh, legendary pieces drop at a 68. By the way, in case you're wondering, well, I've seen a 71 on an exotic before. Uh, yeah, that does happen. Only on legacy exotics, though. I believe Forsaken and further back from there. Uh, that doesn't happen with newish exotics, unless Bungie bore through the code again, but... There you go, that's why you sometimes can see a 71. So, like I said, exotics, normally 70, legendary, normally 68. Now that's the stat difference. Let's talk about the actual key difference that a lot of people don't know about. And that is intrinsic stats built into exotic armor pieces. So for this example, we're going to switch to Controverse Hold, a different Warlock exotic that is basically a grenade exotic. And the reason I bring this up is because Controverse, like several other exotics in the game, have a built-in stat, in this particular case, it's Discipline. Discipline in a grenade exotic. Wow, crazy. Uh, but anyway, it's not like written in the game anywhere, but some exotics do have this stat built into them. What does this mean? Basically, if you go farm for an exotic, and let's pretend you're not using your ghost for anything at this very second, and you're farming controversy hold, you get one to drop, and what's going to happen is it's going to have a built in spike into discipline. So you'll get like, you know, 16 discipline on your controversy holds as your spike. And then everything else in the exotic will distribute to the other stats. Now, a lot of people don't already know this information, but on top of that, if you combine that with your ghost into the same stat, meaning a spike in discipline, because that's the stat on Controverse, and then a ghost mod with discipline, it'll actually screw over your exotic. So, by doing this, you might get two discipline on your exotic. And that might answer your question of farming exotics and being like, what the hell, I have this stat on my exotic uh, ghost, and then... This armor piece dropped and has two for the stat that I was looking for. What What's going on? Well, that's why. So, a lot of people don't know this because it's not, like, you know, mentioned in the game or anything. So, I thought I would bring that up real quick. So, when you're doing exotic farming, you might want to look into which intrinsic stat your exotic has. Not all exotics in the game have an intrinsic stat, by the way. It's just several of them. By the way, in case you're curious on which exotics have what, I have the whole spreadsheet link listed in my uh, community Discord for those that care. As you can see on screen, there's Hunters, there's uh, Titans, and there's Warlocks in case somebody wants to, I don't know, freeze the video and screenshot this or whatever. There you go. Moving on. Okay, exotic stuff out of the way. Let's talk about the complicated stuff. So, for this, it's going to get a little rambly. Try to stay with me. Hopefully, I explain this nice and simple. So, stats in the game on armor pieces. I'm going to explain how they drop, how to manipulate them, uh, what the hell they mean uh, in spikes and stuff on armor pieces. So, when an armor piece drops in the game... And as a base total, obviously, again, 70 and 68, respectively. And what the game does is it'll immediately cut that base in half, which in this case, on screen, you're going to see a 68 armor piece. That would be 34-34. Why am I saying it cuts it in half? Uh, that's because the armor piece, and any armor piece in the game, has basically two windows to it, or two categories, or two trees. In that, I mean, it divides the six stats into two categories, on the armor piece so one being mobility resilience recovery the other being discipline intellect strength the reason i say this is because it's going to distribute those 34 and 34 stats into the two categories respectively by the way if it was a 67 piece it would just be 34 33 in case anybody was curious well back to this example it's going to just flood them in and go so you can see on screen two mobility 16 uh resilience 16 recov which is 34 and then 26 2 and 6, which is again 34. Now, where your ghost comes into play here is your ghost will make one of these stats spike. So, in this case, I had a discipline mod on in my ghost. 
and it gave me a discipline spike. And the game sees this, gives me the spike for 26, and then it sees, okay, this uh, one stat has 26 of your 34 points filled, which means I'm giving your strength 6, and then your intellect 2 for 34 total. That category is now done. It's full to the brim. The rest of the stats flood to the other category and are distributed RNG. As you can see here, I have 2, 16, 16. This could have very easily been like 2, 2, 30 for like 30 resilience and then 2 mobile and 2 recov. And that's the way the game would distribute that. So the reason this matters and I bring it up is because depending on what you pick on your ghost and what you choose to spike on any given armor form, including duality, grasp, uh, spire, raid armor, whatever, you're going to influence on how evenly the stats are distributed on particular stats. So why do I pick... Uh, my ghost to have a discipline mod and why you should as well by the way is most builds in the game you're gonna have your dominant stats in resilience recovery and discipline not every build is gonna obviously use discipline there are builds where you don't utilize it but most dominant builds in the game use it the other reason why I pick discipline is because if I get a spike in discipline that means my intellect and my strength which I find to be highly useless on most builds these days would just be very low stats in this case a two and a six i would love for it to just be a two and a two but you know whatever and then it'll flood the other stats higher which i want because i want resilience i want recovery mobility you know obviously you don't want on titans and warlocks but on hunters i'll take any of the three but for the other two classes i'll take resil and recov as much as i possibly can so this is pretty evenly distributed 26 16 16 i like that I'll take also, you know, 30 Resilience and 28 Discipline. That's fine too, as long as it doesn't roll into the trash stats that I don't want. So just to summarize, I farm Duality with a Discipline Ghost in the hopes that I would get a spike in Discipline, which would happen thanks to the Ghost. And then the category, you know, Washing Machine would take its course and RNG me the stats into the proper pieces that I want, which were, again, Resil and recovery if you're a hunter and you were going for pvp stats then you would want recov and mobility or maybe you want a pve build you want mobility and resilience whatever it may be and then for titans and warlocks you just pray you get rezil and recov and discipline or if you're you know looking for an outlier build like you you want an intellect build for some reason then you put intellect into your ghost and hope for rezil recov or if you're doing a strength build for a hunter then you want a strength mod and then you hope for mobility, rezo, recov, depending on PvP, PvE. Let me show you guys some other examples just to get the point across. So here's a masterwork armor piece that I got. Same thing, artifice armor. So it has 12 extra stats because it's masterwork. Subtract those, you get 67. And then it's a base of 16, 16, 29 on discipline. And then the other stats would just be 2, 2, 2, which would mean 2 plus 16 plus 16 again is 34. And then it'd be 29, 2, and 2, which would be 33 for 67 total. And that's how you basically, quote-unquote, manipulate your stats into dropping in the correct slots for your armor when you're farming your double, triple, quad hundreds, artifice armor, raid armor, whatever. Just remember, the only thing that doesn't apply to this is the exotic farming for lost sectors or uh, nightfalls, whatever, because of the built-in intrinsic stats in some of the armor pieces, again, if you want to uh, do that, go ahead and use the chart or the spreadsheet in the community discord if you'd like uh, to target your stats properly. Make sure your ghost is on the right thing so you don't get screwed over. But outside of that, general cases, most of the time, I recommend you put a Discipline Ghost mod on for all your legendary armor farming. Unless you're going for an intellect based build because you want your super as much as possible. Or you're going for a strength based build because you're doing like, I don't know, the electric slide, cha-cha, warlock, arc melee, and crucible or what have you and that's pretty much it so hopefully this helps you guys uh build into lightfall again sorry this didn't come out like the day after uh Keidel farming began i hate getting sick because of situations like this but yeah hopefully you enjoy uh feel free to ask questions if anything was confusing like share subscribe it does help the channel much appreciated hopefully 30k soon ish kind of and uh then we get ready for lightfall then we go full gremlin mode on streams which is on twitch in the link in the description below if you care for that other than that, catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Okay, bye.